Okay guys, I've got this old John Deere, uh, not John Deere, Bobcat. It's an old Bobcat mower, but the engine was blown up on it. It had a twin cylinder owning. The engine's there, but the engine was blown up. I was going to rebuild it, and I thought uh, it was just... It had some scoring on the crank, and if it wasn't for that, I would have rebuilt it, but... Let's see, I got that thing. I got that. It's got a motor. It runs. Can't do anything with that. That's our lawnmower. We've got this. It's got a motor. It runs. I just need to come up with a tank. And then we've got this golf cart here. Now... That's the problem with this golf cart. I don't like that. I've been wanting to put a gas motor on it. <sighs> what to do, what to do? Well, let's see. Let me check something, see what, see what I got. I got the six and a half horse here, Briggs and Stratton, which, you know, that, um, what's going on here? There you go. But, that's going on that Coleman bike. It's not mine anymore, so, let's see. Or, I got this beast. I just got it. 12 horsepower, Kohler engine. It's an older motor, but man, that thing is huge. I haven't tried to start it yet. I was just checking to see if the starter works. You gotta mess with it, just kinda do this a couple times with it. So it does crank over. So, let me get you on the stand. Let's dribble some carburetor or some gas in the carburetor or something. I'm not even going to check it for spark. Uh, yeah, let's just try to start it, see what happens. Okay, guys, so the first thing we're going to do is pull the spark plug out, dribble a little bit of oil down in it, a little bit of corrosion in there. That might put the kibosh on us, but. Uh, that's a big spark plug, 13 sixteenths. I don't know, it doesn't want to go down in that hole. Okay, it got it. stuff getting down in there All right, I'm gonna blow that out with some air and I'll be right back with you just gonna blow it out and then we'll dribble some oil down in there okay it's not gonna take a lot this don't have any pressure but it's got some stuff in it I might be able to get it to dribble down in there just because this thing's been set in a while I got a little bit of fuel here in this little tiny bottle. I'll put this in here. Now, we'll put our spark plug in. Might take it a minute with that oil. And it'll probably smoke if it runs. We'll put some fuel in it. All right, let me back you up. Alright, let's try to give this thing a start here. Come on. It fired. Let's put this on. Had it on trickle charge.
take this uh, fuel filter off or air filter off all right it wasn't choked let's try it again bit more fuel down in here like I said that oil you know it fired so it could have intermittent spark let's find out that was a Briggs of Stratton it'd be running by now right Smelling old, old gas. Let's dump some of this. A little bit of fuel down in the carburetor. Choke it. Try it again. Fired that time. It is running, so open the choke. I want to say it's a runner. I guess it's time to put some fuel in here. Okay, it looks pretty good in there. I'm going to put some two-cycle fuel in there. Just because it hasn't been running a while. Let me go get some. Let's put some fuel in it. Let's hear it run for a minute. I've already checked the oil. The oil's... That needs change, but it is. it does have oil in it. Alright, I got you guys in the shade. I got some two-cycle fuel here. Now, providing the fuel pump's any good, it should pick up. Alright, well, there's no pit cock. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to try to find a pit cock for it. Alright, let me deal with that mess and then uh, I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, so I set up a gravity feed on it. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. Hopefully, that carburetor's not shot from sitting. It's got fuel starting to go in it. I don't think it's high enough. There we go, it's filling up with fuel now. We get the bowl full, we'll be able to run it just for a minute or so. So that should be good. Alright, let's uh let's try this again. We'll put it on choke.
sounds good. It's got a bunch of junk up in it. I hear something kind of rubbing. I think it's this down here, this plastic piece. Yeah, that's what it is. Sure it's got a lot of dirt in it okay well that's that guys will it run yes what are we gonna put it on I don't know I think it's just too big to fit in that golf cart you know it's too high so I'll probably put it on that uh, on that bobcat back there I don't know we'll just have to see I don't see the bowl leaking um, so, yeah, let's start it up one more time. I think that noise I'm hearing is uh, right down there. I think that's what I'm hearing. Okay, not a big deal. Okay, so will it run? Yes, it will. I gave 80 bucks for it. He wanted 100. I could have got it for 75, but I had 20s on me, so I didn't want to talk somebody down and ask him for change. So I gave him 80 bucks for it. So. There it is. <laughs> All right. Future project. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.